Hi everyone, so if you didn't already know, um, I'm getting married in just a few days. Jack and I are going to be eloping in Seattle and I've done a lot of these, like pretty much anything you can do yourself or like create yourself, I'm doing other than like sewing a wedding dress or anything crazy like that. Um, but I will be doing my own makeup. I did my own nails and I'm also making my bouquet and I just kind of wanted to share all of that with you guys and do my wedding makeup that I'm going to be doing. So um, this isn't exactly how I'm going to be doing my hair. I am going to have it curled and down because that's just how I feel the most confident. Like I feel like a lot of brides love those gorgeous updos and stuff like that, but that just doesn't feel like me. One thing to talk about that I've absolutely loved before doing makeup or anything, the key to making sure that your makeup lasts and is beautiful and gorgeous and you know everything goes on perfectly is your skincare. Skincare is so, so, so important. Make sure to get a good routine down you know, if you're gonna experiment with anything, make sure to experiment like months before so it doesn't break you out or anything, just so you can have a really solid skincare routine. So some of the products that I've been using that have been incredible are by the brand Sand and & Sky. They did send me a few of these and I'll be honest, I was like, I got these and I was like, oh, more skincare. I've already tried out so much. You know, there have just been certain things that I haven't loved. But let me be honest with you guys, I love this stuff and let me tell you why. So this oil is 100% my favorite. So I kept the boxes for you guys so you can see what everything comes in. This was a little kit. I will put up what the name of the kit is called for you guys. These are the Dreamy Glow Drops with Australian Emu Apple and it brightens and hydrates. So it has vitamin C um, and hyaluronic acid. I believe the vitamin C they use comes from, oh yeah, the Kakadu Plum. I hope I said that correctly, but these drops make my skin feel so soft. I even got Jack hooked on them because he has super dry skin. I feel like it's helped with the texture on my face. I usually get these little bumps up here on the cheek and these just have helped everything just smooth out and feel so, so nice. So I'm obsessed with these drops. They're incredible. If you don't get anything else from the line and you're interested in anything, get the drops. They are uh, amazing. And keep in mind, I have used all of these. I just wanted you guys to see how cute the boxes are, so I kept them in them. But this is the Australian Emu Apple Enzyme Powder Polish. So this is an exfoliant. So what you'll do is you will get your hands wet and put a little bit of this powder. So there's like a hole. You'll dump it out just a little bit into your hand and um, massage on the face and it's just gonna help exfoliate, which exfoliation is so important with having a nice smooth, like just having a nice smooth base, making sure your skin is smooth and all of that exfoliation is key. The other thing is I definitely recommend doing some sort of a hydrating mask, either the night before or the morning of your wedding, depending on the time and stuff, my wedding slash ceremony, whatever is gonna be in the evening. I'm probably gonna do my mask in the morning, but this is the Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask, which glows and like has a nice plumping sensation. I'll insert a little video here of me like putting it on. But this stuff almost has like a jelly-like consistency, but it makes your skin feel so soft and hydrated. Love this stuff. And oh, let me show you the package, of course. Everything is like this gorgeous, bright magenta fuchsia color. It's like beautiful to display. <laughs> I love when skincare brands do like fun colors and stuff, but like the product's actually good. So it's super fun to display, but I have absolutely loved these products and I just wanted to share them with you guys. And I will have a link down below. So if you wanna purchase any of these and use my link, you absolutely can. So as for my nails, these are the nails that I decided to do. I was gonna do like the whole Hailey Bieber trend chrome powder on top, but I have, I've like done them a few times and I haven't really loved how they wear. I just feel like they don't look as good over time. So I opted for this like, pink jelly type nail look. And 
All of them are products from Amazon, so I use these press-on nails here. Um, they have all different sides. Si <laughs> they have all different sides. Yeah, they have all different sizes, and um, they're in like an almond coffin or not coffin, an almond slash stiletto shape. And I love them. I just put them on. I'll kind of file them or cut them down just a little bit, but they are awesome. And then this is the brand of gel polish I use. So there's the gel base and top coat. It's from the brand Beatles. They're, like I said, they're all on Amazon. I'll link everything on my storefront so you guys can purchase from there. They have the Beatles top coat and then there's the base coat, but they come in these really cute bottles. I like how sleek they look. This is the color I used. I think I did three coats total to get them to look like this. They're kind of sheer, but I just really like that look. I think it looks really classy, but like I said, I'll have it linked for you guys so you can get it easily. This was such... Oh, also, I'll link this too. This is also from Amazon. I got this headband. This is the headband that I will be wearing. I'm just gonna have it on my hair with my bangs down and stuff and curled, but I didn't wanna do a veil. It just didn't feel like me. Like I love veils and I love how they look on like other brides, but I just felt like it wasn't me, but I still wanted something dressy that would make my hair look a little more special. So I got that headband and I think it was like under $30, so definitely check out Amazon because I feel like bridal shops always overcharge for things like that. Let's get into makeup, <laughs> finally. So the combination of foundations that I'm going to be wearing on my wedding day are these two. These two combined are just perfect. So it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. These two combined are just heaven because you get the lasting power of this but then you get like the gorgeous like luminous finish of this and you get like together they give you this really nice natural finish where you're not too matte but you're not too glowy and it's just perfection. Like I know this is kind of like a extreme like you're like that's like this <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. This is like 110 I feel like this is like $110 of foundation on my face. But like, it's my wedding day, okay, give me a break. But these, oh my gosh, perfection. But I'm not gonna be wearing them in this video because I'm a little bit light for these colors because I'm gonna do that a little closer to the wedding because I just want it to be nice and fresh and I don't want it to be like splotchy or have to touch it up, so. Favorite primer ever, what we're going in with, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this stuff, I feel like I've used it forever now. Like there was a period of me not using it and like I remember I kept thinking I need to go pick some up. I love that stuff. And for some reason I just didn't forever and then I finally did it again and I remember why and how much I love this stuff. I just feel like it gives such a nice smooth base and I feel like it also helps with making sure I don't break out as much from products. So the foundation I'm going to use instead of these two today, which I have used on brides in the past and I love it. I'm just a little more oily, so that's why I need something more matte, but I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one is excellent. I've used it on so many brides because it's nice and thin, but full coverage, so you get like that perfect flawless finish with absolutely no caking and it lasts super well. I would recommend it more for dry skin, like for me as someone who's oily, this just doesn't really, I need something that's just a little bit more mattifying for my wedding day. But if you are someone that's like dry or normal and you feel like you don't, you know, get too oily, this is fantastic for you. And I feel like the, one of the most beautiful things about this foundation is it, looks beautiful on every skin type. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. Like it is going to look good on someone who is like 10 years old or someone who is 80 or 90 years old. Like it's going to look beautiful on absolutely everybody. Just going to go over with a sponge. I like to go in with a brush first because I feel like brushes take less coverage and the sponge helps give like a really flawless finish 
Um, I'm all about, you know, making everything as complex as possible when it comes to my makeup, but it works. And this is my wedding day makeup, so I'm showing you how I'm going to do it. I'm not like, this is how to do it easy. No, all the extra steps that you put into your bridal makeup are going to be worth it. I highly recommend hiring someone if, you know, you can afford it. Um, but if you can't, I think it's great to do it yourself, you know, like the only reason I would say to hire somebody is because um, And always do a trial first if you can just to make sure everything goes smoothly everything looks the way you want But I highly recommend having someone do it ahead of time because it's just gonna I don't know, it just, it's gonna last a lot longer. There are certain things that we do as makeup artists to make sure the makeup lasts that you may not know how to do in your everyday routine. So yeah, that's, that's, that's why I would hire someone if uh, you can afford it. And frankly, I love doing my makeup because it's always been kind of like my stress reliever, the thing that can calm me down. <laughs> like there were times where when I first started doing makeup, like I was going into my 20s, going through a lot of stuff, and the thing that would always like just bring me peace and make me just feel good about everything in life was doing my makeup. So there were times I would just like sit and play with makeup at like midnight, <laughs> 3 a.m. Like I would just do my makeup. Like no one was gonna see it obviously, but I just loved doing makeup. And so I can't think of a better thing to do on my wedding day than, you know, to do my makeup because I genuinely love doing my makeup. So the thing I just used was a Bobbi Brown Extra Light Peach Corrector. That is just going to help get rid of any darkness under the eye. Um, I think they discontinued it in these pots. They have sticks now. I just haven't tried them yet, but that's what I'm using. So the concealer I will be using is the e.l.f. Camo. I'm obsessed with this. I've used it for forever but um, I don't have a shade light enough for myself right now. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And one tip that I've learned on TikTok that has been so helpful is using your fingers for concealer because sometimes you just cake on too much and you don't want too much product on your face for your wedding day. You want really thin, layers of everything and that is what is going to help everything apply so seamlessly and flawlessly still make you look natural i'm just applying that on pressing it in it just helps the product melt in super nice the other thing i would recommend doing first i my skin has cleared up a lot but if you do have acne or anything like that use a super dry concealer so when either in a pot or um like a really matte one and spot conceal those spots first and that is gonna help cover everything so nicely later rather than doing foundation and then doing concealer because that's just a lot of product. So you can just do the concealer in those places and be good to go. Okay, so we're looking a little fair. So we're going to bronze. This stick is incredible. It's so tiny. It's this Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. And when I saw this at Sephora, I was like, is there a bigger size? Like this is so small compared to like my other sticks. Like this is the Merit Beauty one. This is the Bobbi Brown one for reference. And they were like, no, that's just the size. This stuff is incredible. I love the color of it, first of all. It's the perfect, bronzy color like it's not too orangey or anything it's not too cool because some products will be labeled bronzer or contour but they won't be true to like what those colors should be um this one is just so nice and it's kind of neutral so i feel like i don't really have to contour with it it's just perfection and it blends so beautifully on top of foundation it doesn't get patchy it's just gorgeous and the thing I like to do is you go under the jaw but make sure to get back here behind it because that is going to help make sure your jaw looks really nice and structured because when you just leave it and it's naked right here it just looks weird like just just try this and you don't even have to put the product there just 
make sure to blend back there and it makes the biggest difference with your jawline. One product that I've absolutely been loving that has come out and I'm sure you have seen it everywhere. Unfortunately, this package took forever to get here, so I'm really mad because I was very behind on everyone else trying it, but it is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This stuff, it's the same exact thing as the Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's the same thing. The only thing is this one is a little more in my shade, so I am just going to apply it on the high points. Since I'll be more tan, I'll be using the e.l.f. one on my wedding day. And then another thing I've really been liking is using this as a bronzer. I feel like on your wedding day, you wanna look glowy and flawless, you know? Then using my famous, or the famous, it's not mine, but it's the famous Trigwell Cosmetics Powder Puff. This thing is the best. You can try the ones on Amazon if you want, but there's just something so special about this one. I love it. You get two in a pack. It's kind of plushy, as you can see. And you know, you can wash it, reuse it for yourself, of course. I am going to take some Laura Mercier translucent powder because I love it. It's, I feel like I switched to beauty bakeries, but then I tried this one again and it just, it, it lasts so much better for me throughout the day. Like this really is, there's a reason why I think this is like one of the number one sold translucent powders in the world. And I totally understand why. So I'm mostly just setting the center of my face. Now moving on to bronzer. The one I've been loving, and this is why I'm not using this product, is the Hourglass Bronze. I just have a little palette here. The shade of bronze, if you're curious, is um, Natural Bronze Light. I love using products like this that have a little bit of glow to them, especially on brides, because you would think that like products with a sheen can emphasize texture, which they definitely can, but not these. These look so freaking beautiful on the skin and just give such a nice glow like kind of like that like Victoria's Secret model glow like when they used to do the fashion shows and stuff I always was obsessed with their makeup does everyone kind of want to look like an angel for their wedding day I do <laughs> next thing we're doing is my brows for brows I've been loving using powder I just think it looks so nice and natural I feel like we're kind of moving out of fluffy brows, like I think there's still like a little fluff to them, but I think we're moving out of soap brows and I also just feel like they're not going to look that classic. Um, if you look back at photos, like I feel like it's one of those things where you may be like, that doesn't quite look right. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with some powder and fill mine in just really naturally like following the brow, but just kind of making them look a little bit better, a little more full in certain places, but keeping the natural shape. Yeah, so I just kind of fill them in naturally. Um, if I can find my brow gel later, I will like kind of brush them up just slightly. Um, oh, here it is, I found it. <laughs> With the brow gel and I'll kind of fluff up certain areas just slightly. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So I like using the e.l.f. camo concealers, the matte version, on my lid for primer. This one always lasts really well for me. You don't always need a new product for everything. I'm gonna use this Morphe palette here, this Constellation Sky. I don't know if they still make it. I think they do. I think there are ways to get it, but the shades that I'm using are ones that you probably all have. As you can see, it's pretty neutral other than uh, this row here, kind of. But I'm using really natural shades. So take this shade right here that's kind of just like a nice transition shade. Pop that into the crease. Um, one of my favorite tips for eyeshadow is looking down into a mirror as you apply. And I like to keep it pretty low in the crease, so holding my brush kind of tilted like this. And the shape that I want to take it, I'm not wearing winged eyeliner, but I like a winged out shape to elongate my eyes. And one thing I've noticed that is much more flattering for my eye shape, especially with how my brows are, 
is rather than taking it up toward the tail, taking it out and slightly upwards. And that is just gonna help elongate the eye. And then I'll kind of take my mirror upwards like this and just check and make sure everything is looking good from up here. Taking a smaller brush than the last, this one kind of has a tapered point to it. It is a Morphe M330, if you're curious. And I am going to take this shade, which is kind of like a darker bronzy shade. It looks like a bronzing shade, actually. And just taking that deeper into the crease, just on the outer part though. Then I'm going to take a darker shade, which isn't in that palette, but it is the MAC Swiss Chocolate Eyeshadow. Just kind of like a deep brown that's not like super dark, but is like a medium dark brown. And I'm taking that on a pretty small brush. And what I'm doing to kind of create the wing shape is going outwards, kind of like from my lower lash line out and just creating that nice wing shape. Checking again in my mirror. I've noticed that when I go on the outer corner, it makes my eye look too short and small. When you go a little bit lower, just slightly, slightly lower than you would do, like rather doing the outer corner here, going just right at the corner of the eye basically and outwards, it just helps the lid look longer. And you can see that helps create a nice lid for me. And there we go, we have a really nice shape down that we blended, it's natural, but is like a little glam. And now I'm going to take a cream shadow stick. This one is by Bobbi Brown and it is called Golden Pink. I've used this thing forever, like a long time, and it's lasted so well. Um, but this is just going to add a really nice bridal sparkle and it's going to last all day. It will last all day long. And I like to go, as you can see, kind of above my lid area because that just helps make my eye look so much bigger. So this is kind of like a trendy thing to do, but I absolutely love how this looks. I think it's so beautiful. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots. As you can see, it's white and like super sparkly, it's a little dirty from how much I've used it. But just taking my finger and popping that on top of the lid to give me like that really light glowy lid. And the way this catches the light is so beautiful and it looks so expensive. Like it reminds me of how the Dior shadows look because the shadow that I had used in the past to kind of get this effect is the Dior 01 Loon Shadow. The next thing I'm going to do is take a super dark brown or black shadow. This one I'm taking is just a super dark brown and I'm just gonna put it right on the outer third because I'm going to put half lashes here. I was gonna do a full lash, but I feel like sometimes full lashes just look a little heavy for my eye because of how small my eyes are it just it gives me the effect of having a lash and they also don't like lift in the inner corners because i know i'm gonna be crying um so yeah and just look how stunning that is okay so i am back with lashes on and i just think that makes the biggest difference i also added mascara on my upper and lower lash line and one thing that i also did add I don't know why I added this many things off camera, but I did. So the other thing I added, um, I can't find it, but you take a matte light shadow. Um, I used a shadow, I'm just holding a powder, but you take that right in this inner area here and look what that does. I'm gonna come up close so you can see, but it just helps really brighten up that area. I'll just take a tiny bit also on my brow bone and inner corner and sometimes even on the nose here. So onto blush. The blush I'm going to be using is the famous Dior Rosy Glow. This is an old packaging. When I worked for Dior, I received a tester of it. So that's what I have. Applying this to the cheek and the place that you wanna put it, if you guys saw my TikTok, but you go from the tip of your nose and from the end 
of your iris is where your blush should start. So you basically want this area of the cheek to be bare. And I haven't been bringing it up as high on my cheek because I feel like the under eye, it needs to be there somewhere. And I feel like when you bring the blush up too high, it makes it look like your whole face is cheek. And my cheeks can already look kind of big. I just want everything to look nice and proportional, but if you can get your hands on it, it is an amazing blush. Another one that I love that is just as good is this Bobbi Brown blush right here called Pale Pink. There's also one called Pretty Pink that would be super similar. I just don't have it in my collection, but as you can see, Pretty Pink is just slightly darker, but they are so close on the cheek that it's really hard to tell the difference. I feel like everything is getting really washed out. But anyways, for highlighter, I am also going to be using my Hourglass palette here because they are just so stunning and going on the cheek. They're just the most perfect bridal highlighter. For my lips, I'm gonna take these clips out now because I just feel like it. So for lips, I'm taking this Laura Mercier lip pencil in Hazelnut Tea. I've also been loving the Rem Harmonies lip liner or the REM Beauty. <laughs> That's what it's actually called. It's called, but the lip liner is in the shade Harmonies, but I can't find it right now, so I'm gonna use this one. And then I'm taking a matte lipstick. I don't know if this is made anymore, but I just really like this nude shade. It's called Semi Semi Naked by Bobbi Brown in their matte Luck Liquid, not liquid. Their matte luxe lipstick. I feel the prettiest with the nude lip. And then uh, when I do want to do a little bit of gloss, I'm going to use this Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss because it's the prettiest nude gloss ever. I love it. But yeah, here is the final bridal look. This is what I'm going to be wearing for my wedding. It's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful look. This look makes me feel so pretty. I feel like it's classic while having like some trends. I just feel like it still looks timeless and classic and it feels like me. I feel pretty, I feel comfortable, I feel confident. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, yeah, let me know if there's any more questions that you guys have as far as like wedding stuff goes. I also forgot to mention that I used the Mally Beauty David's Bridal Touch-Up Kit to touch up on my wedding day because I actually didn't even end up using any powder. So that was what I used as a touch-up kit. I'll link it down below, but I just wanted to include that for you guys. I will be, um, <laughs> I forgot to mention my tanner. The tanner that I will be using for my wedding day is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey. I forgot to mention my tanner. The tanner that I will be using for my wedding day is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey. This stuff is the absolute best tanner I have ever tried and I am going to dedicate a whole video to it on how to make your tan last and all of that great stuff in the future. But I just wanted to include that, but this is the final look. And um, I will see you guys when I am Brooklyn Brim Hall. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your week or weekend. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.